Eloisa Festival is about a saint that was found years, 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 my ancestors, um, at a certain place in Eloisa, and from there, they came out to make this, um, this saint, this festival. Then they decided to add two more because the one they found was for the little kids. So we have three saints. We have one for the females, one for the males, and one for the children. What we're celebrating here are, is the African influence in Puerto Rico. Uh, Loisa is a town in Puerto Rico where most of the Africans, enslaved Africans, were brought back in the 14 and 1500s. So a lot of the festival will focus on those African traditions that we've been able to maintain as a people, having left Puerto Rico and settled in New York's El Barrio, which was primarily a Puerto Rican community and has quickly changed due to gentrification. There's a large population of Loiseños here in New York and other Afro-Latinos that see themselves in Loiseños, so this festival just celebrates that. It celebrates Loisa, it celebrates the African diaspora, it celebrates those cultures. The, the Caribbean culture helps us like know more about where we come from and also like helps us ex, uh, express ourselves through art and everything. This festival is great because we get to come here, we get to celebrate our Puerto Ricanness, our blackness, our Africanness, just all that whole big mesh of things. So you come here and you see art, you see African art, you see art from Puerto Rico that looks African, that resembles African, that has things of Africa. You have just delicious food from the island. Um, a lot of the music here is very complex because you'll have the African drums, you'll have salsa, you have merengue, things like that. Well, they will find traditional foods from Loisa. On um, Sunday, we have the procession which will bring down the street. And you're going to see how we salute the saints. The saints only see each other once a year. So we make a big salute. Then we set up, when they come in, we have people um, playing bomba for them because that was also part of the tradition. So all of this, people are going to see it and learn from it because they haven't seen it before. The main um, stage will highlight the music, the dance, the spoken word, and oral traditions that come from Loisa and Puerto Rico in general. All vendors of traditional and typical foods, alcapurria, relleno de papa, gandules, fenil. Um, we even have pasteles, and we have vegetarian pasteles, and the roast pork pasteles. Festival means a lot because there are a lot of Loiseños here in New York City. Not only are there a lot of Loiseños, there are a lot of Afro-Latinos that are here who are kind of lost in this space where it's like, I don't look Puerto Rican, I don't look black, I don't seem black, I don't seem Puerto Rican, but we're all of those things because of this messy history of colonization and murder, essentially, that's happened on our island. It's important to celebrate the African influence in all of our cultures because it's often the one culture that's ignored whether we're from Puerto Rico, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Trinidad, Brazil. As we're talking about our young people and we're educating the next generation, it's important to highlight that African influence that makes up part of who we are. A lot of people in Loisa look like me, very dark complexion with natural hair. And it's hard being from Loisa because there's a lot of racism in Puerto Rico. So people are separated and people are degraded because of their skin color. The main takeaway from this festival is really to embrace one's culture. Um, embrace it, understand it, learn it, love it, pass the tradition on. This is where we come from. White people, black people, Chinese people, all Korean people, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Cuban, we all here together. This is to show, this is where the culture comes from. This, this festival is important for us because we get to celebrate the complexity of who we are with other Latinos who understand that. This is a neighborhood that is being destroyed by gentrification. A lot of our people have nowhere to go. A lot of our people are fighting for our homes. And this is a weekend where we can say we're Puerto Rican, we're black, we're in our neighborhoods, and we're celebrating it.